what's up? Today we're going over another one, and this one is, um, I don't necessarily have a name for him yet, but uh, he's a tower-based champion. So his initial kit and whole build thing is to remain in place. When he remains in place, this is his passive by the way, is it's called construction or something like that. So he, if he remains in place for two seconds, he constructs, he builds himself up and basically becomes a statue. The statue is what many would recall a tower. Then it's like a tower, he gains increased range and increased damage scaling with each saw onto the certain target, um, you know, targeting champions and stuff. And he, although he can choose the, the, the target he wants. So yeah, standing still turns him into a turret, doesn't do as much damage, but he gains more range and he gains damage scaling. So each time he gets a hit, it does more damage. So like 10, like he does 100 damage, the next time he does 125, 150, and maybe it just gets more and more, you know, exponentially. All right, but he cannot be hid. Even if he's in a shrubbery, he can construct in stealth. But once he becomes the tower, I mean, towers are super tall. You're going to be able to see it and everything. So he's not able to be uh, stealth while he's constructed into the tower. So Q, W, and E all have stuff that goes with being a tower and being not a tower. So his Q, when he's a tower, he gains increased attack speed. So he kind of gains 50% attack speed for a small dur duration while he's the tower so he can get that damage scaling done faster. Um, while he's not a tower, he can gain armor and a speed boost. Um, this allows him to kind of um, help his allies block, be the shield, because he's while he's um, not the tower, he can't really do anything besides protect other people. So he does gain armor himself and a speed boost, but if there's any allies near him, he can also give them a small armor and speed boost as well. Just a very small one. Um, when he's the tower, when his W, he gives increased attack range. Which, so you can just W and then Q and then you're just like So yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Um, when he's not a tower, he dashes to an ally and giving them a health boost. Basically, the more health he gives them, so the more health they're missing. So yeah, he can be a really helpful there. His E when he's a tower is he gives a major armor to himself, therefore he can stay the tower. Um, and so during this time, if his shield that he put on himself isn't gone by the time the cooldown, the cooldown ends, it kind of just converts the armor into ability damage for a small duration. Uh, a percentage like 25% of the thing for the next like two seconds so for like the two attacks he can do he can just like and do a lot of damage when he's a not a tower he creates an aura of healing around himself and uh, healing others and stuff so yeah he's kind of more has generic non tower abilities but it kind of brings it up in his damage with his tower abilities um, his R though is pretty cool. This is when he's a tower or not a tower. He can press ultimate whenever and he can pull his sword. So you know how towers, they have the sword down here. He pulls it out and takes it out into a double handed stance and, um, he's still the size of the tower. So when you're at the size of the tower, he gains 50% tenacity. So from any CC at all, um, he also gains extra armor because he's kind of made of stone. Anyways, that's not the point. The ultimate, so he has a sword. So he's basic attack, so he's still technically the tower. So his actually, his Q, W, and E are still the tower ability. So he'd still gain attack range, attack speed, and armor that can convert into attack damage. I mean, sorry, like ability attack damage or whatever after it's used. So, but his attacks are a beam, like the previous old school towers, there were that. So there are beams, there are lasers, so they can stay on a target as long as the target is within range. Um, so for short duration, after short for a duration, for the initial, like, so the first second you're lasering an enemy, lasering, ugh, lasering an enemy, it'll actually stun them um, for a short duration, but it only happen once on this certain target. And then uh, if the enemy champion is low enough, you'll actually slam your sword into them, killing them them so like the laser will just pull them in and 
and just stab them down. It's, it's kind of scary.